Hey guys, so today I have a DIY. I will be showing you guys how to make these tissue paper flowers that you literally only need three things to make. They are super easy to make. Valerie helped me make them. And as you know, she's only five years old and we made these for her sixth birthday. So here we go. Mommy? I'm trying my best to not rip it. Okay, so here it is better to cut all these pieces beforehand. So it's a little bit faster and easier to do. This, this is like a sunflower. Okay, so right here, we're gonna start off by getting the tissue paper. I got this package, I believe at the 99 cents, and it has five different colors. And yeah, you just get it out and choose whatever color you wanna get. So we're gonna get a yellow paper. So you lay down the piece of paper on the floor, table, wherever you're at. I am doing it on the floor. And as you can see, I only have one piece of paper, but you could definitely get more than one to like cut them out and do them a little bit faster. I already have all of them cut, so I just got one to show you guys how to do it. And you pretty much just cut it in three sections and you will get the size that i'm using right now you guys can see i'm folding it to make it a little bit faster i cut it out already and i'm just going to show you guys that i'm pretty much using it i put one that's already pre-cut and get kind of like the measurement and just start folding it back and front back and front to just make it easier to cut it once it's all measured So here I'm just showing you guys that the papers that I'm using, they are measured six and a half by four inches. So here we are just cutting them out. And remember, it's okay if they're not exactly the same size. Obviously, they cannot be that big of a difference. But if they're slightly different from the measurements, it's perfectly fine. Just stack them together the best you can and then you would just pretty much start folding them like that kind of like a fan front and then back and then front and then back and just all the way till you're done <laughs> Alright, so once you're done with that i'm sorry you guys cannot really see this part but you get an elastic and you tie it up twice uh, make sure it is not tight because then it'll be a, a little bit hard to separate the papers then you're just going to get some scissors and cut like a half circle on both ends all right so now to make the flower so you open up one side and you start separating the paper one paper at a time you bring it up and once you're done, you go to the other side, you open it up, you start separating one paper, and you start forming the little flower. And again, you just do the same thing. Go back to the other side, bring a paper up, and once you're done with that, you go to the other side and bring the other one up, and you just keep doing that until you're done with all the papers. So here we are done and you just kind of puff up the flower I'm getting this foam duct tape I don't know what it's called but it's double sided I cut a little piece and put it on the flower and just taper it wherever I'm gonna be using it this duct tape or whatever you want to call it I got it at the 99 cent so pretty much all the three things that I needed for this flowers they were bought at the 99 cents And this is the final look. I did these flowers to put them on number six. And we also did a unicorn. And we placed both of these on the main table. And yeah, I hope you guys like them. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.